Tell me a little bit about your, you know, thoughts about being with the team and, you know, just your first impressions. Uh, you know, first and foremost, I just want to give all God the glory. So, I mean, it's just a blessing being here, uh, especially looking at the route I had to take to get here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just extremely blessed, just trying to get better each and every day. All right, so talk to me, I guess, a little bit about, uh, you know, that route and how you, how you found yourself in New Orleans. Uh, you know, just, you know, coming out of you know, high school and going to college and going through the adversity that I had to go through all the years, transferring, um, you know, constantly overcoming mountains and um, just getting this opportunity to be here and, you know, get signed by, the, you know, the Saints and being a part of this organization has just been, you know, no, just a blessing, you know, just to be able to come out here and compete each and every day with my peers, and you know, it's been awesome. Uh, you were at Northwestern? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. transferred? Yes. Where, where did you start? I started off at University of Southern Cal. Okay. What um, went into, I guess, making that move from, from Southern Cal? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, basically my mom had got diagnosed with a brain aneurysm. She had got sick. And, uh, you know, circumstances had changed as far as, you know, me out with the injuries that I had going on there, and it was constantly putting stress on her. And uh, it caused it to get worse. So I felt that, you know, coming home would be the best decision for me and my family. And um, it turned out for the best. Uh, so just talk to me a little bit about, um, you know, how that transfer and all that, you know, going through that adversity has kind of like helped you deal with and get you ready to be a pro. Um, it definitely helped me a lot. Um, it definitely, you know, um, just as far as the mental aspect and the physical, you know, learning, learning how to take care of my body and, you know, learning how to deal with issues. <laughs> That, um, that a pro has to deal with, um, and it definitely is preparing me for this moment. All right. So now that you're here, you know, what are some of the things you do in to make sure you try and earn this roster spot? Well, you know, just, you know, being a guy that's always asking questions, um, taking coaching, you know, I wanted to get better each and every day and then applying the coaching that I get on the field. You know, just being a guy that's, you know, constantly working when everybody's not, and, you know, coming in on off days, you know, doing whatever I can, you know, whether that's on special teams and on, and on offense. All right. Now talk to me a little bit about, uh, you know, obviously wide receivers. So just what, uh, is there anybody you modeled your game after or anybody that, you know, you looked up to that kind of made you, this is the position you wanted to play? Uh, I, you know, coming out of high school, you know, Brandon Marshall, one of the guys, you know, actually a big brother to me. We're actually good friends. Uh, he's been a, a great mentor for me, you know, getting me ready for the next level. Um, as far as the physical and the mental, um, it's one of the guys I've really been looking up to and try to model my game after. All right, and there's a couple guys here that are, uh, you know, big receivers, mm -hmm. similar frame to yeah. you, and sort of play the same way. Uh, like Marcus Colston, have yes, you been trying to pick his brain in? Oh, exactly. You know, I, all the time I'm always asking, you know, Marcus, you know, what do I need to do here? Uh, certain, you know, technique. You know, I don't try to watch, you know, guys like, you know, B. Cooks is very quick. You know, that's not going to be a part of my game. But I try to watch the guys that are similar to me. And that's, you know, Marcus, uh, B. Cole, uh, you know, all those guys, you know, just trying to learn each and every day as far as trying to enhance my game. Now, is there one piece of advice that maybe Marshall or Colston or anybody that, you know, sort of been a mentor to you, gave you, you know, to try and help you? Uh... Uh, just, you know, basically that, you know, Brandon and talking to Colston, just, you know, play to your strengths. And that's what I try to do uh, most of the time. And sometimes, you know, it can get me in trouble sometimes, trying to be too aggressive. And so I have to really just you know, start working on more technique at the line of scrimmage with my feet opposed to trying to use my strength. But, uh, it's, it's been, you know, I've been getting a lot of good coaching from both. You know, even though Brandon's not here, you know, I, I keep in touch with him when I can. So, but now that I got a, the same type of body build here with Marcus Colston, I can see it every day. So it's been a big help for me so far. All right. Now, what do you do when, uh, you know, you've been staring at your playbook all weekend, mm -hmm. kind of trying to, you know, unwind a little? What kind of stuff do you do to um, kind of back away from the game for a little? Well, you know, I, I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. I put a lot of time in the playbook, you know, because, you know, I'm one of those guys that don't like to not be prepared. I don't like to be unprepared. So, I, you know, when I can, I try to, you know, talk to my family, you know, spend some time with them on the phone, but then, you know, get away from it a little bit, just, you know, play some Xbox One a little bit. Because sometimes you can't get so consumed with the game. It can be overbearing sometimes. All right. What, what do you, what's your Xbox One game? What do you play in all the time? What, what, what will people find you? Uh, I would say Call of Duty. Uh, it's one of the games. It's real cool. Me and my roommate, Zach Hawker, uh, the kicker here, but we've been playing. He's a real cool roommate, too. He's a real good guy. Uh, but we've been playing that, you know, just trying to, you know, take our mind off of it a little bit. All right. You explored New Orleans at all? Yeah, we've, uh, when we first got here, we did the rookie little thing with the boil. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, um, <clears throat> Freddie, Freddie Mac took us out on the boat, not on the boat, but on the bus and took us around, you know, New Orleans, saw Ninth Ward, 
uh, it's a beautiful place. Um, it's amazing to see this city and what it's went through and to see that them still stand together and rebuilding this amazing. So hopefully I can, you know, keep doing what I'm doing and be here and be a part of it.